Here's the disc brake kit. Comes with the two discs, calipers with uh, emergency brake hookup, because I got an emergency brake because this buggy's gonna be street legal. The brackets to hold the calipers on, brake pads, new flexible brake hoses, emergency brake cables, brand new emergency brake cables, and all the hardware needed to put it together. This kit has everything. Now, I've heard a few comments that, you know, these kits kind of expensive, you know. Is, is it really worth it? Is it really needed? Well, when you see the tires I'm going to put on the back of this, it's not going to be these tires. These are the tires that was on here coming off. I'm converting it from four lug nut. You can see there? So I can get show up. See, there's four lug nut, which is what the front tires has right now, four lug nuts. I'm converting them to five lug nuts. These are a lot stronger. And uh, when you see the tires I'm putting on this, you'll see why I want to have real good brakes because I'm putting on some pretty massive tires, what they call Terra Tiger tires. I've already got them. They're used, but they're, you know, they're good. So now I've got to get the old emergency brake cables out of the buggy. They're, uh, I'd say they're, they're, you know, they're, fairly shot you know this is uh, this is the old brake cable here and it's pretty shot but they go up inside inside the buggy up into here I don't have any light shining here yet but there's the handle for the emergency brake cable and I've got to get in there take that apart get the cables out so we can install the new ones then the rest of the brakes will go on I'll probably put the brakes on and the calipers all at first and then do the emergency brakes. I have an emergency brake cable. We will see shortly. This is how they go in. Okay. Now let's see if I can see out of this thing so you can see what I'm doing. <coughs> all right. time there was um, brakes and stuff in here a uh, slave cylinder here and I already unhooked this thing in video 3 where I took all the brakes and stuff off I put this back together temporarily just so I can Move it around if need be. Try to stay out of the camera sight. Instructions. Just don't read the stinking instructions. has a, the two taper parts this has a two it goes down
Has his brake disc on there. Good job, Paul. So, put the bracket in the back. Put the bolts in, seal, spacer, and nut. Well, we'll put it on there, but I'm not going to torque it. <coughs> Not yet, anyways. That's nowhere near 250 foot pounds, but I'll do that afterwards. There's that. First thing I put back on was a caliper bracket. Then I put Gotta take that bearing cover off and put the seal on there. You go, that's all on there. That's all in there good together. All right, let's see here. Right. Oh, hey dummy. See, there's a nice L right there. L. I think that means left. This is the right side, so this one's the wrong one. Now, one of the things we have to do is we have to test the clearance on this. And I put this in here and the clearance between here and the rotor is too tight. So I gotta switch the spacers around. That means I gotta take it all back apart again to do that. I saw someone else had to do that too. So I gotta change the spacers. I almost did it when I put it in there. I mean, it's a good thing it goes together. Comes off really easy. up the seals and stuff. So what it says to do in the instructions they say that the, the spacer that I took out gets warm. So you have to put the bigger spacer in. You switch them around. And uh, that's what the instruction says. I just find it uh, a little odd to believe that that's, that's the case. But we're going to try it and find out. And I saw J Bugs commercial, you sons of a so and so. Uh, a J Bug commercial, if that's how they are commercial. The video of how to install these brakes, they did the same thing. Now, let's see what the difference is.
Freaking allergies are just playing killing me. Okay. Yeah, better. Now let's see the caliper. See how it fits on there. Uh, I got the R this time. Oh yeah, it made all the difference in the world, right in the middle. See? See the gap on both sides? Yep. Okie dokie. All right. Now, according to the instructions, putting the brake pads in is supposed to be easy. You take one of these bolts out, which wasn't even tight. Take the pads, put them in there. You gotta make sure it's in that. There's a little divot right here. See that little divot? It's gotta go in that whole that slot right there. That slot right there. say things are easy but when it comes to the aftermarket parts I wonder if anything's easy it's not supposed to go down that hole they gotta make sure they don't it doesn't one of these springs doesn't go down in there they said you don't use any tools to get this to go down So far, so kind of, sort of good. Right direction, Paul. That's tight. There, they're in there. Should be the way it should be. Well, just gotta put it on. Now this one, it's gotta have washers behind it to center it. They give you some washers behind it or to get it to where you center it right on the caliper so you gotta figure out how to do that right all right let's try it let's see i should uh, make sure that takes well right, let's try it like this first 
put the bolt in the outside of the washer on the inside, which you can't see from right there, can you? See, I slid the bolt through, put washers on the inside. That bolt, I'll slide the bolt out a little bit. I don't know if I could do it to where you could actually see. Watch me do it. Let's try it. If I smack up, break the camera, you'll hear a bunch of swear. All right, now let's see. Lovely, lovely things. Oops. See, it's not easy to do. It's pretty, looks pretty close to the same. I get the wrench, tighten that up. There's that. There's the left side. Okay. Get copper with the pads installed. Let's see here, I gotta get the washers on the inside of it. Yeah. So space it out properly. Yeah, whenever you get aftermarket stuff, you think it's all gonna fit just fine, but it never does. So much better. There they are.